Okay, this video is looking at the structure and bonding in graphite and linking that to its properties. So this one, similar to diamond, is made entirely of carbon atoms. But this time, here is our carbon. All of them are carbons. Um, but this time, instead of having four bonds, it's got one, two, three. So each carbon atom is held in place by three strong bonds. Now, that means that in terms of its properties, it's still got a high melting point, but it is lower than that of diamond, because it has less strong bonds holding it in place. So to remind you, diamond had a tetrahedral structure, looking like this. So each carbon had four bonds. So it's got a bit of a higher melting point because it's got an extra bond holding each carbon in place. So, still high melting point, but lower than diamond. The next thing that's really, really important is because it's only got three bonds, this represents one layer of graphite. So graphite exists in kind of sheets, big flat structures um, with all of these carbons joined together. Now between each sheet, this shows three different layers of graphite, between each sheet we've got these dotted lines, and they represent where we have three electrons in between the layers. Now, diamond doesn't have this, so diamond doesn't conduct electricity, whereas graphite, these electrons are free to move around in between the layers, um, and that is what gives graphite its ability to conduct electricity and heat because of those free electrons. So this is, again, linking its structure to its properties. Now, in terms of bonding, we're in exactly the same situation. We've got two non-metals. We've got carbon attached to carbon. So the bonds between them are covalent bonds. They are sharing electrons. That's it for graphite. Oh, one more thing. Sorry. Um, these layers, because this layer is not actually bonded to the layer below, there's a strong force of interaction because of these electrons in between, but they are not chemically bonded. That means these layers can slide over each other. So graphite is also used as a lubricant because these layers can actually slip off the top um, and have a lubricating action. It's how pencils work. The layers slide off the graphite of your pencil and leave behind a layer on your page.